but as long as you're very careful with your Google Drive permissions, there's no issue with someone getting access to a Google Drive link URL as long as you've got the permissions locked down because only the people who are designated inside that Google Shared Drive will be able to get access to it. Take Adkins has asked, we've recently started using Google Drive as our client portal. Any thoughts on a good way to direct clients to just their specific drive or folder from a single login page? We really wanna have a login button on our website's homepage where all clients can use at any time to access their resources instead of having to go back through emails to find a direct link. Well, I've got a non-Google solution to this that kind of came to mind when I saw this question and my non-Google solution would be to set up a redirect for your URL for your website using a plugin like Pretty Links. And if you haven't heard of Pretty Links, that's basically how you can create a shortened link. It's a little bit like using something like Bitly, but this actually runs on your WordPress website. And I thoroughly recommend this tool. We use it for all of our sites, but it's a plugin that you buy once. And then from there, it runs on your site and you can make as many links as you want. You are no longer limited to your plan on Bitly or anything else. And because it all runs on your website, it means that you get access to all of the analytics on these links using Google Analytics, which is pretty cool. And so we use that for things like if you go to our website, itgenius.com forward slash links, it's automatically going to redirect you to our links page, which is actually a sub page of products. And so for this particular person who was interested in redirecting a client straight to their Google folder, I would say you could do yourcompanyname.com forward slash client name. And then you can just give them that link to remember and then they're gonna remember their name or they're gonna remember their business name. Maybe you could set that up once when you onboard the customer as part of your onboarding practice. And then once you've onboarded the customer, then they've got that URL made up. Now, you wanna be very, very careful that you don't mess up the permissions or anything like that because effectively you're, you're exposing a bit of a security risk there that if someone knows what your other customer's name is, they can go to the URL and attempt to open the drive. But as long as you're very careful with your Google Drive permissions, there's no issue with someone getting access to a Google Drive link URL as long as you've got the permissions locked down because only the people who are designated inside that Google Shared Drive will be able to get access to it. But hopefully that helps to make things easier for you. The other thing would just be kind of training of your customers. If they know that they can go to Google Drive, they can open the Shared With Me menu inside Google Drive. When they go to Shared With Me, they're automatically going to be shown anything that is shared with them. And they could even you know, right click on one of those files and from there, they could add it to the start menu and adding it to the start menu is gonna have it show up in start so they can always access it there. You can now create links, they're called shortcuts. There we go, add a shortcut to drive. And what that will do is that will allow you to create a shortcut in a My Drive. So maybe your customer decides to create a shortcut to that shared folder or shared drive inside their My Drive. So anytime they open up Drive, they can easily access it. That might make it easier than them having to re go back and hunt through their emails every time. I hope that was helpful. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.